Welcome back to Daybreak. There is still a major need for blood across the state. You might be getting a lot of those calls lately to donate. Versity has a one-day supply or less. I donated there this week and got to see what happens after you give. It helped me understand why this is such an urgent situation. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> the need for blood continues to be critical across the state. Do you want to know when I poke or can I just poke? You can just go ahead and do it. Beautiful. And there it goes. If you're like me and haven't donated in a while, now is the time to make your appointment. What's the fastest amount of time someone has filled up one of these bags? I have heard three minutes, which is super fast. Uh, she didn't feel real good afterwards. Yeah. So I don't recommend it. <laughs> Dawn Kaiser says it's only taking a day or two right now for your blood to make it from your arm to a patient. Uh, right now, blood is just flying off the shelf. Typically, we'd like to see a five to six day on the shelf, and right now we're down to one day. So we test for anything that could be harmful um, via bloodborne pathogens. Volunteers drive the small tubes to Indianapolis for testing 365 days a year. And we take all of the extra tubing off, and then it goes in the sharps container. And in the meantime, the bag of blood goes to the core processing center in Grand Rapids. They're going to go in, they're going to spin it out, and then they'll express the plasma off the top, and then they'll filter the red cells again to get as many of the white cells out. The fridge is over here. The fridge, yes. So normally these would be much fuller. Normally, you would hope yeah. that they. Would. We would hope that they would be. I have been in blood banking for over 30 years, and this is the lowest supply I've seen in in a decade. <laughs> Trauma is the number one reason for needing an unexpected blood transfusion. One patient in a car accident might need 50 or 60 units of blood. Same goes for transplants. There's no substitute for blood. So when a physician is ordering a unit of platelets or a unit of, of re packed red cells, that's medicine. If that's not there, then they don't have what they need to treat the patient. Once your blood leaves processing, it generally stays local. Your blood will probably go to Spectrum, Munson, um, Beaumont, Henry Ford, one of the hospitals, but we service um, West Michigan, so it's likely that your blood would go to Spectrum. I should get an update sometime today on where my blood ended up, but they think it will likely be Spectrum. Okay, here's a question. Yes. We, always, we, we talk often about the shortages of blood in the area or nationwide. Has there ever been a surplus? Oh, she said the only time that's ever happened in her 30 years was uh, right after 9-11. 9-11, yeah, wow. yeah. Not a big surprise because but that's the one thing people felt like they could do. Exactly. And um, blood lasts for about 40 days, but they generally, it doesn't expire because they use it so quickly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, exactly. And you can give every 56 days. Mm -hmm. So every eight weeks, mark it on your calendar. I need to get myself back in the habit. I think I'm a, a pint away from my three-gallon pin. Yeah, they Matt ask Kirkland's you to make given. your next appointment as yeah. you're leaving so that you don't forget. Mm -hmm. to I mean, do I do it. that for my haircut, so, right. you know. Right, so why not do <laughs> your blood? Yeah, exactly. I think Matt Kirkwood is given about 10 to 12 gallons. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a frequent he's, flyer. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs>